All right, surely Goths cannot win here. That's what I that's what I wanted to say when I saw before the game loaded up. Goths against Byzantines. Surely Goths cannot win here. Byzantines have gunpowder. Byzantines have champion. Byzantines have cataphracts. Goths don't have any eco bonus. Byzantines don't have eco bonuses either. However, Byzantines do have defensive bonuses, and I think they will need that defense here. Now, I mentioned it earlier on the stream today that I've had that opinion where against many civs, goths don't stand a chance. I doubt Riot watches any of my videos, but I've been talking till I'm blue in the face about how goths can take advantage of free loom to make the game messy. And maybe, maybe, Riot could take advantage of that or do something to make the game messy early. Make it messy early. You don't need to gain a huge lead. But you just need to not fall behind. And then if you get to the mid game with the spam, even against Byzantines, I feel like you can win depending on how it's played. Um, someone in the chat says, I know a joke about Byzantines, but it's totally trash. What a great joke. Sorry, I uh, I had to mute my mic as I said something. Uh, so Dal has a really wallable map at the moment as well. Uh, you could wall here. You could wall here. You could make an arena out of this. Uh, an amazing map versus a... Well, not a bad map. But, of course, Riot cannot make stone walls if he wants to turn this into arena. How would I play this as Byzantines? I think man-at-arms into archers is fine. Uh, goths can't threaten you in any real way until they get a castle to make Huskarls. So, making archers is still fine here. You could always go scouts, too. You could... Uh, we've been seeing a lot of drush fast castling you can see that and the players are pretty far apart from each other so you might lean more towards going fast castle instead of going aggressive now just scouting for now i'm not really sure what he'll go for abs official thank you for the tier three six months to sub t90 in chat not much we are game seven game eight in to casting doubt today uh, we have cast some other players as well we did some nomad earlier from 2v2 Nomad to start off the stream. This is good for me. Oh, God. He's waiting for the board. Nice. That was smart thinking from Riot. But uh, just trying to build up my stamina as much as I can for the 24 hour on Saturday. K Smith says, Hello. Why is going straight archers bad? Um, so, K Smith, when I said going straight archers is bad, going straight archers is bad and counterable at high levels. Uh, I believe, and people can type a 1 in the chat if this is the case, I believe that many people at mid to low level go full wall, immediate archers, and they do very well for themselves, right? But the issue at high levels with going straight archers is that you're not offering any military and early feudal. So man-at-arms into archers tends to be better because they're at your base pressuring you with something that can kill you right away. Um, and also, if... That person going men at arms or person going scout sees you're making archer ranges and not making anything else. They can easily make a transition into whatever they've already been doing and skirmishers. So that's the reason. At, at the high level, going straight archers is countered by one range skirts. But at the mid level, I think what happens is the players probably make skirms. It's not enough skirms and they die to the archers. <laughs> So that's just my guess. Um, Doubt might not do anything except fast castle this. And I think Riot's going to need to adapt in some way. Uh, you could think in any other Civ matchup that the goth player should go fast castle as well. Like it's an invitation to get closer to the strength of goths, hey, yeah. but I think here it's a mistake. Because if cataphracts are closer <laughs> to a reality for Byzantines, it's... That's where danger really sets in. What's up, Mike? It says your streams are fun to watch. Good, thank you. Um, if they weren't fun to watch, I'd be curious why people were here besides falling asleep. At T90, have goths been a meme since the old days, or was there a moment that defined them as a kind of sieve? Or as that kind of sieve? Um, so... Goths have always been a civilization that either stomps and wins easily or does not. I, I can't really remember a time, and I've been 
playing this game nonstop and casting this game nonstop since. Well, I've been playing nonstop since 2013. I've been casting nonstop since 2015. So uh, that should give you an idea. But no, they've always been a sieve. Like, goths are the. They are the worst balanced civilization in Age of Empires. Think about it. What happens to them? They either get destroyed because they don't get to their infantry spam and they don't get the resources to get their infantry spam, or they destroy everything. Think about it. There's no in between with Goths. You never have a game where it's like, oh, I played standard with Goths and we ended up getting a hill. No, it doesn't happen. They either kill fast or they die fast. So it's really bad civilization from a balance perspective. <laughs> Okay, Riot uh, choosing to go for Feudal Age aggro, but then walling. Hey, uh. This is not what I envisioned when I said to go aggressive. So, Doubt's just going fast castle. He's going to go man-at-arms into the walls, and Doubt will probably just wall behind. I know it's not meta now, and I know that Doubt's pretty far away from Riot, but I was kind of hoping that Riot would go for, uh, would go for aggression with towers here. We'll see. I mean, he is being more aggressive than Doubt. That's definitely the case. And also, he got. He must have had amazing eco because he got double Vidax and Horse Collar and Man at Arms. Yeah. It's so difficult. Normally, with Man at Arms build, you're unable to get Horse Collar with double Vidax and Man at Arms. So I don't know how he pulled that off. But, um, you know what I should probably touch on is Riot. Riot as a player. It's great to see this guy playing. I, I know that uh, a lot has been made of Jordan returning for the second or third time. Jordan's going to commit time into playing this game uh, full time, right? Uh, for the foreseeable future. And everyone's really excited to see if Jordan can get back to his old shape. Why are we not talking about the fact that Riot came back and was in the top 30 within like a month? <laughs> I don't remember the exact time frame. And obviously, he came back many months ago. But it took Riot no time at all to come back to DE after not playing for years. And then, boom. Yep, I'm uh, I'm ranked 20th, boys and girls. Like, it's insane. Like, Riot's ability to just get back to business and get back to his levels is unreal. In fact, I think if you do a show match between Doubt and Riot right now, with, like, you know, competitive settings, I think it'd be very close. Also, Kapoch, yeah. Apoch as well. Apoch did the same. Um, he returned a little after Riot. Well, the difference is Kapoch plays a lot more. Riot has, uh, I think his situation is he's got a woman and a full-time job. So, um, I don't think he has any kids or whatever. I know Kapoch, I, I don't know what his real-life situation is. I don't know if he's working full-time or whatever. Uh, I think he may have returned because of COVID too, right? Because... Might have been off work because of that, but uh, I know he's got a family. Hmm. All right. How long was Riot playing before? So back in 20... Resnor's been around a while, so Resnor might know the exact timeline. I forget. All the years get screwed up in my brain, but I think 2015... Chris was considered top 10. Riot was definitely considered top 10. And Jordan, uh, Jordan was retired at that point, was he not? I think Jordan was retired at that point. When Jordan left, I think it was 20, I want to say 2014, 2013. And at, when he left, he left at a very high level. And Kapoch hasn't played since mid 2000s. <laughs> so, uh, quite a difference. Now, it's not going Fast Castle Cataphracts. He's just going Fast Castle. I believe in the boom. I think he's just going to boom up. Still asking questions. Like, is it going to be possible for Goth to be Byzantine? Hey, sir. Riot will click up to Castle Age here. That's a really good uptime with really good eco behind this from Riot. It's just the civs, man. This is unfortunately hey, what can happen if you play random Civ Arabia. But that's what makes it fun. You don't see the same civs all the time. Can anyone take the throne from Leary? Well, I mean, first off, Leary won 4-3 against Hera in Red Bull.
So it's not as if there's no one coming close to him. <laughs> you know, Hera was very close. Um, and second, Red Bull is also completely different settings, which definitely suit Leary. So, just to answer your question, yes, uh, but I don't necessarily think anyone has the throne. I, I, I don't think th is anyone on a throne right now, or is everyone really? I think it's just really competitive. Obviously, in Standard Age of Empires, it comes to standard tournaments, is Viper number one? Definitely. But is the rest of the world showing, or not the rest of the world, the uh, the rest of the the top ten showing that everything's really competitive right now? They are. I'm watching this while on the throne. Listen, we don't want to hear about your throne, all right? Yeah. Make sure you wash your hands after that. I I was wondering what Doubt would do to get rid of the Man-at-Arms. He's actually going for, uh, or he has gone for Monks. So he's going to go three TCs and boom. As passive as can be. And he's going, oh, he's healing. He's healing. Who's going to win the fight? He's going to win the fight because he's healing it. Wow. What a play. So yeah, he's just going to boom. Try and collect as many relics as possible. And now we're going to see Riot go to three TCs and also boom. Uh, I don't... Does anyone else just not agree with the fact that Riot's choosing to play it like this? This is amazingly clean. And I'll give him that. But I don't think you can just boom... I mean, you do need to boom with Goths to get to the stage where you're strong. But can you boom against Byzantines where they can go right into Cataphracts? And one thing that you need to remember is, is uh, Doubt takes a really important hit there. Because he does not want this scout to be out here. Oh, he's got to pay attention. Oh, this is huge. A 1 HP scout could still take out Doubt's monks. But yeah, one thing we, we have to bring up again is that Cataphracts are ridiculously expensive. This is not a scenario editor. I know we've all been guilty of it where we create a map. And we, we go post imp and we get to we get to build and create whatever our heart desires, you know, cheesesteak jimmies, rock on, uh Robin Hood. It's been a while since I've used these cheats. I, I almost forgot um some of these cheat codes. But yeah, I I know that in a scenario world as Riot loses the scout, the Byzantines should kill everything that Goths can make, but it is cheaper for Goths to get to infantry spam. How do you turn this on? <laughs> I'll tell you what I used to do when I started playing this game. So at this point, I was playing online, but I wasn't completely comfortable playing online. Um, and I would oftentimes play the AI because I couldn't beat the hardest AI. So I'd play like the harder, hardest AI. And I'd say, okay, we're gonna do this without cheats. And I'd go into that game I'd try my absolute best. If I was winning the game, I would not use cheats. I would win the game fair and square. If I started to lose the game, all the cheat codes came out. All of them. I got Cobra Cars. I got uh, IR Winner. Anything you could think of. Cheat codes. Boom. Because you just want to feel good. You just, you only have limited time to play Age of Empires. You want to feel good. And win. Now, I started to make compromises. Instead of using Cobra cars to cheat, guess what I started to do? I started to just do resource cheats. That's all. That's it. I only would give myself an extra 5,000 food, 5,000 gold, and 5,000 stone. That's it. I didn't use any actual units. So that, in my mind, was a compromise. I felt like I wasn't cheating as much. And then it eventually got to the point where... I would only do one cheesesteak jimmies. That's it. And that was yesterday. Anyways, moving on. Uh, Doubt's making a TC in the middle of the map. Five TCs? Five town... One, two, three... Five town centers. Holy cow, that's crazy. He's got three relics right now and about to get a fourth. Is he going to have five? I don't know where the other one is right now. Oh, Riot's going to get one. Congratulations. 
Okay, it would be so funny to me if Doubt overbooms and Riot smashes him. What if Riot just opens up with Champion Halp and smashes Doubt before Doubt can get castles up? It shouldn't happen, but it's not just the castles that Doubt needs, but he needs the food for Logistica and Elite Cataphract, which is all cheaper nowadays, by the way. I don't think they ever should have made Logistica cheaper or, or Elite Cataphract cheaper. There's a reason that it was expensive with business teams. They already are so good competitively because of their defense, because of their monks, because of their arbs, because of their skirms, and the cheaper imp. I feel like having it so Cataphract was hard to get to was really important. But then again, it's not like Byzantines are the best Civ in the game. So, you know, buffs, I'm okay with buffs in general. But it is still expensive. Don't think the buff changed that much. It is still super pricey. You're right. Compare that to, let's say, uh, Latus, for example. Elite Latus is far too cheap. You don't need to get Logistica. And Elite Latus are probably the best unique unit in the game right now. What did they change it to exactly? Let's see. Oh, God, that's not it. Um... What's the cost of Elite? Is it 1200, 800? Oh god, there's stuff happening here. Does anyone remember? Before it was 1600 food, 1200 gold. I think as a, like across the board, if you're talking full upgrades, I think it is, um, it saves 800 food, 800 gold, something like that. Hey, Okay. Yeah, Logistica is also cheaper. You save 600 food. Yeah. yeah, and you need to get the blacksmith upgrades. You need to build a stable for husbandry. But my point is, is I didn't think that it needed it. I'm I'm okay with it. I just didn't didn't know if it was something that was really necessary. Strack, hey, I'll see you Saturday for the 24 hour. Nice. Loving how many people are entering the giveaway right now. Guys, if you do it now or you do it on Saturday, it doesn't matter. Um, you can do it while I'm offline tomorrow. But the 24-hour streams on Saturday, The one of the big items is an iPad. And click the image below the stream to enter. Following the stream gives you extra entries. Following me on Twitter does. Uh, if you're subbed, you get 10 extra entries. It doesn't matter if it's a gifted sub or not either. If you receive, if you have a sub right now and it was a gifted sub, you're, you can still enter. Uh, also, if you enter now and you're not subbed and you sub within the next couple days, I think you can enter with the extra entries. But anyways, the point is, enter uh, if you haven't because it's free stuff. And then on the 24-hour stream, Saturday into Sunday, I'll be doing giveaways like, every three hours. <laughs> Roy's like, I don't care about giveaways. I'm here to support my boy. Well, thank you, but uh, like... The whole idea of this 24 hour is to give back from the support of Hidden Cup. I know it's been a long time, but the idea was to do a big 24 hour stream that was hype because of Hidden Cup. It's just been six months. <laughs> so the Cataphractos, very expensive. Riot is going to go Halb and he needs to kill fast if any chance. I talked about how I disagreed with how he's playing this. Hey, don't think you can just boom. Hey, I'm not saying that being aggressive would have worked either, but I... He's going to try and go Halberdier. Another castle for Doubt. D Doubt knows he has relics. He knows he has extra golds. He just feels like he needs to post up defensively. And he cannot be killed if he has this many castles. I'm just waiting for Halb to wit to work or something. <laughs> like, it shouldn't, but it's Goths, and Halbs are really yeah. cheap and can spam quickly. So, could end up being an insane KD for Doubt, though. Still getting Blacksmith upgrades. Whoops. Doubt wants to castle this hill now. This might be a little bit too greedy. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. He's already got three Byzantine castles on the other side. Still no Elite Cataphract, still no Logista. L Logistica, sorry. Which, for those that do not know, uh, they it, it, they have trample damage. Pretty effective. I 
feel like I wouldn't get crop rotation now. You know, like, is that too much greed? That's a lot of food. And you could be using that for blacksmith upgrades. Yeah, it's tough for me. Uh, I think maybe 70% of people here knew what Logistica was, but... I also don't want to talk about things that everyone knows. Like, oh, you need houses in Age of Empires. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> so Riyad making the push. It's definitely now or never. And let's see how these cataphracts do. A plus two attack. And uh, chain barding will be in. Riyad will have the hill. These are not elite cataphracts yet. And the helps are so cheap for Riyad. He wants to go hand cannon with them. All Doubt wants to do is keep that castle up. He knows how important it is. He could lose the castle as Riyad completes his. There's more military for Riyad. And Doubt loses the castle. Riyad has the score lead. Doubt has four relics. He's, he's saving up for Elite Cataphract. It's so expensive. It's so expensive. Is he saving up for the old cost? Oh my god. Guys, he didn't know. I guarantee you Doubt didn't know they're cheaper because he waited till he had 1,600 food to click it. <laughs> That's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. Like, what if what if those 10 seconds matter? Oh, my God. That's so typical of a pro player, too, to not know. Or maybe I just... Maybe it's just coincidence. I don't know. Riot is punishing Byzantines with goths! And where is he going with these villagers? What the... By the way, oh my god! In your face, Doubt. In your face. All up in it. Halberdiers, hand cannons, castle. In fact, that's actually Doubt's face. Let's see if this is a good move or a bad move. That seems like way too big of a commitment. It's because the halbs are cheap. The halbs are cheap. Elite cataphract is expensive. And it's... The numbers are 7 to 1! Seven to one! That castle will stay up! Now we'll lose it. I'm fairly certain, anyways. I don't think the cataphract... They still didn't have armor. Oh my goodness. Doubt? I think Doubt is overconfident. Or was overconfident. Now he's not overconfident. So now I'm wondering, like, will Doubt be able to bring it back somehow? Alright. He's lost the TC. He can lose the monastery. Okay, I have a cat meowing at me right now. Hi. I'm casting. Yeah, I'm casting a game. There's cataphracts. Did you hear me say cataphracts? I think I think the cat thought I was talking to him. Uh, sorry about that. Anyways, um, the you guys are are booing me like that's a joke, but I genuinely believe that that's what's going on here. <laughs> um, crossbow. No way. Doubt. He's going to tech switch into crossbow against Goth. It's not a great sign. Not a great sign at all for Doubt. He's at 150 pop. And Riot could hit 210 with Goths. He's at 190. Another castle falls. Crazy. I told you Riot was a beast. I didn't believe in him. You didn't believe in him. The cat certainly didn't believe in him. Yeah, every time I say that, it looks my direction. Ow, ow, I just got... <laughs> Stop it. This is the third day in a row that I'm on the computer and the cat claws my butt cheek <laughs> through the computer chair thinking it's a game. And the more you flinch, the more they claw. All right. Well, Doubt is on two castles. This is why I said the, the other one being on this side is weird, but he's got a counter. That might actually be a good play for him. He could take the relic away from Riot, but more than anything, Riot's going to have to send units that way instead of forward. Obviously, if, if this gets to a point where Doubt has no potential to make cataphracts, Riot could go into Huskarls and then the game's over. Huskarls counter all the trash and the Arbalest, everything that Byzantines would make besides cataphracts. Except for, I guess, champions. I think Byzantines get champions. So Doubt using all the stone that he has. To repair here, and it's really important he keeps the castle up. Dal can still win. Dal can definitely still win this. 
This raid might have saved it for doubt because the Cataphracts are trading reasonably well and Riot did not have reinforcements going to the front. Just like that, doubt's back in the game. The, I, I did not see doubt get Logistica, no. Look at the spam. Uh, Riot is getting Anarchy now so he can create Huskarls from the barracks. He's got this force over here now. Doubt, there's 100 gold left, but Doubt won't have that. And Riot, he went to 150 pop and back up to 210 instantly. This is my point about Goths. Even against Byzantines, I think the Civ is like... I don't like to say these words with civilizations that people really like on YouTube and Twitch. But I, I still feel like at some point the Civ might need to be like touched up. Like something's got to change, man. <laughs> Or don't change it. Why change a good thing? Trev goes down. Riot's even microing hand cannons underneath the castle against the, the arbs. Here we've got Riot taking that gold. That's kind of funny. All right, so he'll lose those villagers. Here come the Huskarls now. Doubt doesn't have cataphracts here. Doubt doesn't have the food count to make cataphracts anymore. Woo! Now, in general, my opinion on buffing and nerfing has been that we should only buff civs and not nerf civs unless it's like, it's an obvious thing that's needed to nerf. Right now, there's not enough civs that are picked and, and dominant at a high level to start nerfing. I think Doubt's going to lose. These are elite Huskarls now. We have another trebuchet coming from the forward castle. By the way, what a move from Riot to go for the forward in-your-face castle. It helped protect his trebuchets, and now it gives him uh, opportunity to make trebuchets. When you're goths, though, you've just got to make sure that the production's there. So we had better have those barracks control groups so we can spam. Because the KD is not pretty, and it will never be pretty. I think, again, Riot might struggle to push here. But he could make forward barracks. Like a barracks and just raid with halberdiers and Huskarls. Cataphracts trade so well against the infantry. And now Doubt is at 160 pop against 160 pop from Riot. Look at the KD. Doubt still has this castle here. He still has Cataphracts skewed. Is this now going to swing back into Byzantine's control? Is, is that, like, do you need to survive the Goth Flood till you get to Arbalest and Cataphracts? Is it just momentum now? Like, what is it? Doubt has 62 military. I do think that if you're... Like, the only reason that Doubt was losing was because of the numbers. So now that it's 60 Byzantine military against what will be 75 Goth military, that is no bueno for Riot. Uh, and Doubt's also going to get these relics. So I think Riot... Oh, he's got a raid. Oh, and he sees it now. Yeah, you've got to hit the economy of Delt and avoid the main force to the point where Delt does not have the economy to make more. Hey, tell me Riot noticed that because he just passed 35 villagers. That's why I also mentioned a forward barracks or two. I'm really surprised we're not seeing that. Also, uh, interesting to see Delt farming out there. And Riot takes a fight. Riot takes the fight. Just watch the KD. Oh man, now the cataphracts might be cleared out. If the crata if the cataphracts get cleared out, the arbs will get cleared out. Riot's lost his castle. Oh my goodness, Doubt's gonna lose so much. Doubt's gonna lose so much and Goths are back in it! Freaking Goths, man! What a game! Now Doubt's at 130 pop, and if Riot just sent anything here... I think a raid here ends the game, honestly. Doubt, I guess he has 6,000 wood, but he still needs the villagers. Raid and Riot's base. Whoa, 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 whoa. Riot just queues up Halbs and they're there instantly. Need more than just that, though. He needs quite a few waves and more cataphracts from Doubt. But Doubt's now down to 28 military. Elite cataphracts. Full boom Byzantines against present day Goths. A low evil legends that are watching this. It's not just you. If you ever felt like doubt was relatable, 
you might feel like he's more relatable as you see him die to the goth spam. Because it, it's happening everywhere now. Ninety-two military. Tell to uh, where where did his lumberjacks go? Did he pull them or did he lose them? He must have pulled them. He's still at 111 pills. He just needs to get more farms. And he's still gonna keep the castle up, which he's gonna do! <laughs> what a game! It feels like Doubt's Eco is one raid away from dying though. Like, like this over here. Actually, there's a line of bodies. So yeah, maybe these husk girls have been running for some time. But the vills here and the vills here are so vulnerable. Be it streams in Huskarls, hand cannons, and halberdiers. Doubt's population at 115. His KD is incredible. This is how you can use the goths. The KD does not matter. KD used to matter when I play Call of Duty. I'd be like, yo, bro, I had a 7 to 1 KD. That never happens. No one who picks goth says, yo, I had a negative 75 KD. It's not an Age of Empires thing, really. Not when you play goths, anyways. Just. Just. The spam's unreal. And we question the boom. Everyone in the chat said that Riot was dead. Or not said, but thought. There were many who said, including myself. I was just like, I don't want to agree with how he's playing this. I think this is bad. Blah, 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 blah. Now should go skirms now. Yeah, what against Husk Girls? I, I guess I guess we are at a point where, since Husk Girls do cost a little bit of gold, it's more reasonable. But yeah. I think at this stage of the game, Riot could still sell from the market. Can't make leg cav, can't make helps, can't make anything except cataphracts and yeah. skirmishers. Okay, Riot now notices that Doubt is expanded. And he's going to make barracks over here to spam to this side as well. Doubt's dead. So this is why I felt like Doubt was too... I think he was overconfident. He got two-man soul and he got crop rotation, which are great eco upgrades if the game goes late. I don't feel like they're that necessary when you really need to get elite cataphract and get cataphract numbers, and that costs a lot of food. Also, this castle, which I guess in many ways might have been, give him an, given him an opportunity to come back. This castle is on the complete opposite side. And I would have liked to have seen it more defensive. So we could have more cataphract production. These are all the things that were going through my mind. But still, I still fully expected after those upgrades for Doubt to get, you know, 40-50 cataphracts. So Riot said, I'm not going to push in early feudal because Doubt's going to boom and play defensive. That'll give him an eco lead. I'm going to just boom with Byzantines and push before Byzantines can actually get to the units that kill me. He, uh, as far as I know, does not have logistics, but he does not have the time. Doubt has 9,000 wood. That is, that is a lot. <laughs> that is, that is a lot of wood right there. And Doubt... No, that was Riot. Signaling. I'm not sure what he said, but... Now it's time to resign. Resign! I think Doubt must have said something like, Cataphracts suck now. And Riot's like, no, they don't look at what happens in a 1v1 fight. Or maybe it's the other way around. Maybe Riot's like, yeah, they do. Look what happens in a 1v1 fight. But woo! Well, 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 well. Goth speed Byzantines. Why is there still not chat logs on replays? We're gonna see Byz we're gonna see goths become. <laughs> we're gonna see goths become the number one civ faster than we will have spectator chat at this rate. <laughs> With the rate that Age of Empires 2 DE is developing, we're gonna see goths number one before we have that feature back. Wow. Um, you know, my salute to Riot. Because regardless of what you could say about the small things that maybe Dow could have done differently, and, and that's unfortunately what happens a lot in these games, is you say, this is what someone should have done. 
Like, should have got Logistica, should have built the castle. To take nothing away from Riot's performance here. And again, a player who was top five while he was in his, his heyday, his peak, left the game and returned during all this COVID stuff and beats a player like Doubt with that. I mean, that was, that was sick. And if you've ever watched Riot's POV, I encourage you to check out his stream sometime. He's one of the fastest, cleanest players there is. Incredible. All right, let, let's look at the, the achievements here. Obviously, the KD, 662 kills for Doubt. That's a good KD. But largest army, 99. And look at the timeline. This. This is like every low elo legend game I've ever seen. Just eco, not a lot happening. And then just hold shift and click a lot. <laughs> Woo! Only for Riot, uh, there was a lot more involved. And I think this is where Doubt needed to be... I, I think the eco upgrades were, were a mistake. I think he should have gone for Logistica. Can someone remind me? They're going to play again, so I don't want to... Oh, no! Wait, hold on. I want to do this. Can someone remind me um, how much crop rotation and two-man saw is? I think two-man saw is 300-200. Lumber camp, lumber camp, lumber camp. Okay. 300 food, 200 wood. 250 okay so that's 550 food i feel like how much is logistica um logistica's 800 food i feel like i feel like my theory's not too far off here obviously there's gold costs but i felt like he had the gold so i think like when farms are already going to last so long for you and you already have the villager numbers, I think getting this this early was simply because Doubt felt like he was going to destroy, you know? So if he gets Logistica, I don't know if it changes things, but it's just a thought. That or it gives him more resources for Cataphracts. He had so much excess wood. I think he had excess wood later. He had excess 